Hey guys, welcome back. Like I said, I'm trying to get two decks ready for you guys before I leave. Um, and somebody asked me if I, uh, if I could do an Mborg uh, camera up deck. So I decided, uh, decided why not, because actually I'm a big fire type uh, user in both the video game and in the TCG. I actually prefer the fire types the most because, I don't know, I just like fire types. Uh, however, I want to throw in a little spin into the usual camera up M board. You don't have to do this, but uh, I just like making things complicated. You know me, I always gotta put at least a couple stage twos in my decks. So um, what I what I introduced in this one is Electros, and we'll get to why I'm introducing him. So we'll look at our main attacker for the uh, for the set, and it's gonna be a camera up to EX, a uh, nice bulky 180 health. Uh, we're gonna be using the tumbling attack, not very much, but we're gonna be using explosive jet a lot. Uh, explosive Jet, discard as much fire energy attached to any of your Pokemon as you like. This attack does 50 damage times the number of energy cards you discarded, which is pretty good. However, I never really find the use of discarding energy uh, on other Pokemon except for my camera up. I'm always afraid of the Evolto or Mewtwo, you know, Evil Ball, X Ball kind of backlash. I don't want to have four energies on a camera up, and much less I don't want to get knocked out with the four energies. So I usually just discard the energy that I have down the camera up. But I ever did, I did want to introduce something new, and that was Electros. But we'll get to him in a bit. Uh, we have the standard camera up line four. Uh, you can run three, but I like four. Um, the reason why you want to run three is because once knock out three camera ups, it's pretty much game over. But I run four just because maybe one can be prized. Um, two Embors, three Tepics, and one Pig Knight. The Embors are gonna be your, pretty much your MVP. It's gonna be the Inferno Fandango. You can just attach as much fire energies as you like. Garbodor does kind of stop it but I actually didn't really care for the Garbodor matchup um, reason being is because uh, as far as I've played Garbodor hasn't really showed up too much I know in the more uh, more games you play or the more more serious you get you will run into the person with using Garbodor however I really haven't ran up to it and at this point in time camera up to also um, if you can get camera up ready really quick it doesn't really stop camera from being camera up he's He's basically meant for Oko, but at a cost of being extreme, at a high energy cost. So I figured the trade-off would be okay. Um, a one line of Tynamo, and this is where the deck gets really weird. And one electric, doesn't matter which one you run, I just like this one because it's half a lot. But this is why, because of, ooh, I missed up. Because of the energy connect. Um, I always have a thing with my camera up having too much energies on it, so what I want to do is run Electros, and because of the energy connectability, as often during, uh, as often you like during a turn before you attack, you may move a basic energy attached to one of your bench Pokemon to your active. We're never going to lose Electro Cannon. Uh, I could make a deck out of this though, uh, but I don't really want to. But the, we're going to use the ability. Basically, I'm never going to miss an attachment, is what I'm going to try to do. I have 11 F energy, so that's kind of a bit. But um, say I have an Embor, a Tynamo, uh, say I have two Embors down, a Tepig, and camera ups and I have one camera up and active and he has four energies I'm gonna still attach my energies to all my other Pokemon that way even if he knocks out the camera up I still have other ready solutions say for instance he knocks out my camera up and I have a camera up on the bench and he knocks out my camera up with all the energies on it say for instance I forgot to like discard energy from him as long as I have energies on my other Pokemon I can just load him back up to the original camera up and that's why I like Electros I mean he's not a really big play playmaker in this deck but I like to have him in there for the assured the uh, the assurance that I can no matter what happens I can have the energies to do what I like. That way I don't have to sick more of the energies. I don't have to always put them on all camera. I can put them on whoever I want at my leisure because Electros ability lets me move it to the active regardless. And that's why I that's why I have him just for the added benefit. Um, this kind of runs like the I don't know what is it like a uh, the black Chiron, um black Chiron Blastoise deck where you have to have a lot of energy retrievals and superiors just to get back energies that you discard because camera does discard quite a bit. It's up to you if you want to run muscle bands. You it saves me an energy, which I kinda like. Uh, but it's up to you completely. You can put something else in here. I run two fire torches because I also run two stadiums, um, two scorched earths, and I don't I in the beginning I want to discard a lot of fire energies, but towards the end I kinda don't need to discard because I have everybody out usually. Uh, the Electros, you don't have to get anytime soon. You can just get it whenever you want. And like I said, it's not a big playmaker, but it is good to have that like that insurance. As far as that, we got to first letter to get stuff we need. The fiery, uh, fury torch to draw power for draw power really. Two, two, 
Uh, I believe we have two of these. Uh, no, we have three. Three rare candies to get out these guys any quicker. I usually get Ember out turn two. Um, so that's there's that. Superior energy retrieval, of course. Uh, I skipped over the energy retrieval, but it, it does energy retrieval. Um, switches, just in case they catch her out, Embor or uh, Electros. Electros, I believe, yeah, he's pretty hefty. And so is Embor. I think Embor's, yeah, even more hefty. Uh, but other than that, not too bad. Um, two switches, just because of that. Ultra Balls, you get out everybody. Versus Seeker, uh, Life Standard Trump card for those clutch, you know, you're running out of. You might deck out or your opponent is trying to deck out and you want to win by winning so you want to like shuffle their stuff kind of deny them three ends three birches four sycamores and two sick uh, scorched earths three muscle bands and 11 fire energies um as far as energies it's up to you i felt comfortable with 11 i don't know why it's an odd number i never really run that much energies but i felt comfortable with it um there are other cards you can run with this if you want you can run nine tails uh he's actually a big uh, he's one of the most one of my more liked Pokemon in this the card because of his ability. It's really good. I'm gonna use it in the Rayquaza deck because I need to keep out that Skyfield. Uh, but that's another deck. I'm saving up coins and stuff like that, and I'm also buying a lot of cards for that set. I'm gonna make a lot of cards, a lot of decks for that new set because I'm, I'm a big fan. Anyways, uh, you can run Nine Tails. You can run other things you want. This is what I keep my deck consistent at least for the most part. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy the match I had. It is, I'm gonna f forewarn you. I, it's it wasn't. A, uh, I kind of prolonged it because I was kind of being hasty, and I didn't uh, actually look at what I was doing, and so I made a couple mistakes here and there. But hopefully you guys get the general idea of what this deck is supposed to do or how it runs. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So today we're fighting a Mr. J one one nine two C, and like I said, I'm trying to get this out. Uh, before I leave on a chip, but uh, I want you guys, uh, viewers and stuff like that, to if you have any Pokemon ideas or any deck ideas that you want me to show you, or you want like another strange deck, like or like another variant uh, of the camera deck or something that I can uh, just go in and leave a comment. I won't really, uh, won't be really replying too much for this weekend because I won't have a computer with me. Um, but when I get back, I will reply to everybody that has commented. And so our opponent has a pretty bad starting hand. You never want to start with Execute. Um, so, but uh, Execute being shown that has, you don't know exactly what you're facing. It could be a number of decks. Could be a Polion. Could be a Flareon. Could be a couple. Um, luckily, we did do, we did get two camera ups, and we're going to get for a tip pick. We got two tip picks, so twice the the, the chances to get out our Embor. I put down two just in case he lessens out one or catches one you can always get back uh, you can always have another uh, Embor. And Embor is pretty much the backbone of the whole team so you need to get him out pretty quick. Uh, luckily I'm able to get a Versus Seeker for my Birch again so you know I can try to get another seven cards hand. But like I said um, our, my opponent has a pretty bad hand starting off with with these like cute. Um, he's Ultra Bomb or something. A Jirachi so I'm assuming he's have a supporter as well but Jirachi does help with the consistency with stellar guidance it's always a good card um <clears throat> sorry i don't know why it's it's pretty late where i'm at so um i'm trying to get these ready uh, he ends me i'm trying to get a uh, video out uh, luckily i did get an embor and the rare candy which is a good thing and i do have the scorched earth and a fire energy i do have the electros in my hand which is a bummer i don't have the tynamo but that's completely fine my opponent puts down an eevee and he does have a Polion. So this is, I guess, a Ditto. Nice. So I guess this is an Polion Flareon deck. Very unique. And he didn't take it back to Ditto. So yeah, so I got the Rare Candy Embor. So turn two Embor is always good. It's kind of what you always want in an Embor or Blastoise deck. You always want your supporting one to be turn two. I do have an Ultra Ball, but I'm gonna go use Fire Energy to get more cards. And look at that, I got a Sycamore, which is pretty good top deck, if I must say. I did draw the Lysander though, so I don't know what was more top deck, the, the Lysander or, or the Sycamore. I'm assuming the Sycamore was my secondary card, so uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's considered a top deck if it was a second card, but eh, 
that's my rambling. So I get my Tynamo out because, um, yes, I, I'm good at discarding the Electros, but I have ways of getting it back. And bam, what you want in the Ember deck is a lot of energies so you can attach. So already we're starting off pretty strong. Uh, I bet you're wondering how this, la this match started, uh, lasted any longer, but you'd be surprised at how quick I make mistakes. Uh, so we already start pretty strong. I'm attaching um, sparingly to everybody. Like I said, because of uh, my Electros, I want to attach every energy I possibly can a turn. I don't want to have any energies that don't attach. I can knock out the Execute with the Tumbling Attack, so I don't need to attach any more energies to Camera to, to knock out any um, well, his grassings. So we do a Flareon. I'm checking his discard pile because I want to know when he poked my hand in this um, discard. He only had two, now he has four, so now he can do 60, plus the Silver Bangle, 90 I believe, and Mr. Mam on the bench, so yeah, 90 coming straight at me, that's, that's two, uh, two turn knockout. I have another Red Candy, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do what it takes to knock out this Flareon, I don't want 90 coming at me at all time. I got another Camera Up, I got another Embor, I don't really need it too much, I got an Ultra Ball, which I could Ultra Ball for the um, Elect Electio, I believe is what's going. Uh, I'm not sure what to get rid of. Uh, I might as well get it at the end. I don't really need. I don't want my opponent drawing better cards. Uh, I believe that's what it's called. I'm sorry if I don't remember the name exactly what it's called. Uh, there's a lot of Pokemon and I get mixed up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the Flareon. So yeah, it's pretty. Pretty much how an Embor deck, uh, Embor camera up deck would run. You just want to Oko everything that comes in your way. Uh, Jirachi is not the best EX to handle camera ups, um, that weakness, and plus Jirachi is not a very good EX in terms of attacking and health. But he does get a float stone on, so I'm assuming he's not gonna let that out there. He does not want to lose two prize cards. He did play a time map, so he knows what he has, and I know what he has now too in his prize cards. He has water energy, which is pretty. Interesting, so I'm assuming at some point in time he was going to attack with Apollyon, but I don't have to see a pit block. He gets out on uh, Nan, but he has to play that next turn, so I still get to use my second more. Ooh, Battle Compressor. So he's going to get rid of more things uh, to power up that Flareon. Uh, Mr. Mime, I'm assuming, is just there for protecting the bench. You don't want, since they're pretty, they don't have an uh, amazing health, I'm pretty sure you don't want anything sniping, anything from the bench. Um, while we're taking a little quick break, if you guys saw the new scans uh, for Mega Latios, I don't think it's that great. 120 to anybody, sure, but 120. The um, Latios EX actually is pretty cool. You can attack first turn, 40 for one energy, muscle band, 60. That's pretty good. Um, I actually really like Latios, the, the, just the Latios itself. Uh, I'm already thinking of something for Latios, Mega Latios. Uh, so he sacrifices his uh, Mr. Mime. Uh, he doesn't want Jirachi going down. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get um, Lysander's trump card because I want to get the Electros for just you know as to consistency. Like I said, you don't need them, uh, but I do like having them there. Uh, that makes you just put energy on everybody, it being fine. Um, say for instance, for whatever reason, I just need to attach energy. I can just always attach anything without with pretty much free freely. Uh, I get my other camera, put it down, and I'm gonna go and explosive jet and knock out the uh, poor Mr. Mine. I mean, his bench barrier days are done. So, it's, uh, I get a press letter, which is good. I can get consistency back. Uh, I can always have fire energies in my hand, which is good. That's one of the primary uh, things about camera up decks is sometimes you run out of steam. So, when you have that kind of ability just to have energies in your hand or ways to get back energies, then your, your, your deck always keeps running. So like I said, he's got Jirachi again. He's gonna computer search. He discarded a Leafeon. So this is a very versatile um, uh, EV deck. And I believe I know why. Uh, he seems to have counters for a lot of the, a lot of, a lot of the top decks because Seismic Toad is weak to Leafeon. Flareon's good against Virginia and Genesect. And I believe he had Apollyon for the Dawn fans. So my opponent ends me, I get um, the Fury Torch, Energy, energy Retrievals, and uh, an Ultra Ball. So I can, I still have ways of drawing cards with the Fury Torch, I can uh, Energy Retrieval back my final Energies. So 
that's pretty cool about the deck. You really have a lot of you have a lot of things to get you draw power, and so we, that way you get everything you really need. Uh, since I did last hander his um, cards back, he has to get rid of all his Pokemon once again to power up uh, another Flareon. Seems that as his best attacker, even though I would say Polion will probably be his best attacker in this turn. I do not know why he's not playing Polion or Piplup. Maybe he's not drawing against them, but. So there's that, I would assume. Uh, he's gonna acro bike. So let's see. What did he acro bike? Uh, he got rid of uh, water energy, I believe. And then he's gonna acro bike again. So let's see what he gets rid of this time. Acro bike's a really interesting card. Sometimes it works for you, sometimes it's not. He gets rid of a versus seeker and he's got acrobatic yet again. The triple plays, the hat tricks. Um, I personally enjoy uh, acrobatic, but I've seen uh, some people that don't like it. Um, but uh, to each their own. He puts a silver bangle on his EV and he battle compresses yet again. Ooh, he's getting rid of a lot of things. Um, hopefully, he has a sycamore in his hand for draw power. Uh, I'm not sure, but he's getting rid of a lot of Pokemon, so Flaring gets that buff, that increased attack. So let's see if it works out. Hmm. Anyways, uh, I've been. He puts down Nardino. Oh, well, interesting. I've been playing some Majora's Mask lately, and it's been taking over my life. Uh, Oh, as a little quick update, I did. Um, I am, I'm gonna start uploading actual uh, ranked battles on VGC. Uh, these are ranked T TGC or deck uh, battles, but I'm gonna do ranked VGC battles, and um, just for more like more things you guys can watch. I did manage to get the Electros out, so now uh, I can have um, complete control of my energies. I can put down as much energy as I want. I can move energies around to my active as much as I want. So yeah, so everything's pretty much set up. I do have no more cards in my hand. Eh. Uh, at this point, I don't think I really need anything else. I got a lot of fire energies in my hand. Um, I'm not sure why I did not go to Adino. Uh, for some reason, I do not know. Um, this, this is part. This, that's one of my mistakes. Is for some reason I did not go to Adino. Um, that this is where your whole electrons will come in handy where I'll just move energies to him but I don't know exactly sure why I didn't knock out Adino um, so please forgive me <laughs> I'm completely not sure he's gonna reverse secret for an end he's gonna leave it I got another fire energy I'm gonna go and attach it to the other camera up and I'm gonna tell him to attack again and I'm not entirely sure why but I do knock him out um, I believe I think I wanted to risk it and just tell me attack the first time and hopefully get heads, but I got tails since I wasn't able to knock out. I got a versus secret, which is good. I can get back um, uh, a Sycamore. I can get back any support I, I recently played bef after the Lysander's Trump card. So he's gonna put out his Eevee. He most likely is gonna evolve it into a Flareon. And we'll see what happens. I'm not actually sure of how many Pokemon he does have in a discard pile. He's gonna end me, but I still get to see. Uh, a Sycamore I also got I also get a superior energy retrieval. I only have one energy in there so it doesn't really doesn't really do me no good. That means I still have ten energy somewhere in my deck. I actually not sure how much I have on each Pokemon. I have eight on my Pokemon right now, so that means I have two more somewhere. That's a lot of energy. <laughs> Thinking about it now. So he does get Flareon out and he plays his own versus seeker. He's gonna get back, I'm not exactly sure. Probably an end. Uh, his own second more. He's played like five ends right now. So, and each each end I've been getting something at least decent, something to work with at least. Um, so that's always good. So let's see. So I'm not exactly sure how much Pokemon he has in discard pile, but he does 170, knocks out my camera up. So I'm gonna promote any camera. Doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm guess I'm siding with the the one with two energies on it. Uh, I drew a fire energy, which is good. I can attach that one. 
All I gotta do is just draw another fire energy or just move the energy from my original camera up. I did get energy retrievals, so the energy on, yeah, the other camera up can be used again. So I'm gonna go and attach them to this camera up, the active one. And I'm gonna keep the last energy on my hand, I believe. I'm gonna expose some shit. Uh, here's where I make mistake number two. I completely forgot that Scorched Earth is no longer at my stadium because I haven't used it. I had no use to use it, so I never really checked. And so that Flareon has 100 damage on it and the stadium's out there. And that's when I realized, that's how pointing at the stadium, that I, he put out Training Center. So now his Flareon has 130 HP. And this is where mistake number two happens. And so yeah, he did uh, play last time I believe. Or he discarded it, one of those two. So yeah, that's, uh, he played it to get the camera with the most energy out. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's totally on me. Uh, I completely forgot about that. Uh, I wasn't paying attention, but uh, I get all my energies from um, uh, in my entire deck. I have all energy in my in play, and the rest are in the discard pile. So I'm gonna get out the other camera up. Oh, I guess a pig knight. I might as well just evolve it. I might as well to get it out of my deck. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to thin my deck out so before I stick more. So I got a Fury Torch, an Ultra Ball, a Switch, which is very nice for my hefty camera up. And so here's the beauty of Electros. I do it uh, in this match, and here's the beauty. It's actually pretty um, streamlined too in the game. You just click it and it automatically does it. So basically, I just swapped out the camera up for the damage one for that one. And I don't need to do anything extreme. I could just do 10 million attack. So once again, I could have just put two energies on camera up, but once I've been making a bunch of mistakes in this one I'm really sorry guys I was in a rush so um, there's that uh, now this one comes out this new Eevee and he's probably gonna get another Flareon we'll see what comes up of it so he's gonna evolve it and it does enough to knock out since the previous one did 170 now, there's, now it does 190 I'm not sure if the silver with the silver bangle does more damage. I forgot if the other one had a silver bangle, but it's gonna discard even more Pokemon, I believe. But he's gonna evolve another Flareon. It doesn't really matter. This this uh, Flareon will be my last thing to knock out in order to well essentially win the game. Um, so yeah, like I said, I had made plenty of mistakes in this match. I'm not sure why I wasn't thinking very straight. So um, I'm sorry about it. He does 230 though. That's a lot. That's a mega right there. Uh, Kanaka got a lot of Megas, except for Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre, uh, Agron. There's, like, there's only a couple Megas that are 240, but the rest knocks out. So I get my Stadium out, and then I just take rid of two energies to get rid of the Flareon. And this time make sure, boom, victory. So camera ups, um, pretty good. Uh, hopefully you do a lot better with me uh, than me with it, because I make a lot of mistakes with it. So, yeah, but yeah. Um, so yeah, there's that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, comment anything. Uh, comment any Pokemon you want me to see me use or anything like that. But uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.